Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are well. Um, this is a, a car kind of video, car vlog video. And um, I thought I would do a video outside as I haven't done one outside. Well, I have done one outside, but not in my car. So, and because the weather's so beautiful today, it's so baking hot, I had to get out of the house. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel with my Shopper 7 Heaven Summit Naturals and today we're going to be doing a video on locks I think so. so guys, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about following your locks and why I am not going to do it again I've used both colours, both types of um, dyes in my hair I've used the box dyes, I've used the bleach, I've just used everything. And I've just suddenly come to the conclusion that I'm just not gonna do it anymore. I'm not gonna, although I love color, don't get me wrong, I love, absolutely love color. And for those of you who have colored your locks and you've not had any breakage or anything, then all good to you, but, I'm just talking about the people who have had colour and it's caused damage to their locks. And sometimes you might um, you might have your hair coloured for a while and not notice anything. But a few months or maybe a few years down the line, you might notice um, a lot of breakage or you might notice your hair being weaker i mean all my color is gone now i'm gonna try and insert some pictures so you can see what kind of colors that i had which wasn't that much really i just had like a bronzy color which i will insert in a minute <music> And also, I have done jet black. And I just thought, it looked nice, don't get me wrong. It looked nice. You know, when I had it jet black, I loved it. I thought, yeah, it looked really vibrant and healthy. And when I had the the bleach colour, I've just thought it would look sort of sassy, it just looked golden -y, didn't it? What do you think? I'm not in the video. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the video. The little one doesn't want to be in the video, but... I'm um, sweating. I'm sweating, aren't I? I know. Well, it's not ideal, my phone's heating up, I've got to go. Woo! So, um, yeah, so basically... Thanks for watching. Okay, see, so my daughter's going. She's not going to sit and watch me do the video. Anymore. No, she's going to do it, a video. Yeah, I'll do it now. Can you go then so I can finish off my video? You've already done, the, you've already done this. Huh? You've already done this. Can you just go? What do you think? When you have a collar, the box collars are not that as bad because they're not as strong as the bleach. But when you bleach your hair, you're kind of bleaching it and then you put in a separate colour on top of the bleach, which I did. And as I said, the first time my friend did it for me and I lost about three or four locks. And then the second time I got it done professionally at the hairdressers. But I just think that the bleach that she used was too strong for my locks so I think it just kind of over processed in my locks because 
after it was really lovely at the beginning but then i noticed like my locks just started disintegrating and breaking off snapping off all over the place to the point where i had to just cut it i had to give myself the big chop which i'm kind of still growing back the i mean i've got it in a braid out at the moment but um I'm kind of tra still trying to grow it back to what it was. So I decided that, oh, sorry guys, I'm just sweating here. I decided that um, I was just gonna leave my, my natural color, which is uh, a dark brown. Or as my friend says, a dirty brown or something like that, she called it. But it's, it's dark brown. <clears throat> and it's actually got bleached more with the sun. I don't know if you can see it in this light. The light is just way too bright. Um, it's kind of like tinges of brown all over. So I decided just to leave it and just keep it with my natural colour. Not mess around with it. Because basically when you um, colour your hair anyway... It doesn't stay like that forever. You've got to keep it up. And the more you do it, the more you dye it, the more that you have to keep being a slave to it. You have to keep getting it done. Whether you're doing your roots or you do your whole hair, I don't know, but you have to keep doing that. Who's got time for it? And then, if you're going to keep dyeing it inevitably it, 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 they're going to come to a point where it, it can't take any more and it's going to it's going to break i don't care what anybody says your hair it will be over processed if you keep dyeing it i mean some people they'll just dye the roots and then the ends of your hair is quite will be dry, um, dry. So you have to do lots of deep conditioning treatments to help it to keep moisture, moisturized. But at the end of the day, that hair is still damaged. No matter what you do, it's still damaged. So as mine has grown out, I've just had to chop it. Chop it bit by bit until all the colors kind of chopped out. So although as beautiful as color is, I just won't be doing it anymore unless unless I never say never guys unless it's a like a washing color if it's a color where I can just kind of put it in and wash out and it's not going to cause any excess damage to my locks then I'll do it but I'm not going to bleach it anymore that I'm done with bleaching box dyeing I'm done with it and the thing is with the box dye as well doesn't even last that long i mean mine used to last maybe three or four shampoos if that and then this color used to start fading so but i put another picture of how i it was when i had it i think it was bleach um i think it was jet black or just black i can't remember but i'll put a picture up here so you can see but uh, yeah I just wanted to talk to you guys about that even though I've mentioned it before but this is the last time I'm going to mention it well maybe not it might, come, it might crop up again but um just be careful guys if if you want to color your locks i mean i'm not saying who am i to say for you not to color your locks but i'm just saying for me personally that i'm not going to be coloring my locks anymore because i'm just fed up of it you know i feel i felt like it's just damaged my my hair it's not the same you know it's not the same to the point where sometimes i feel like i wanted to cut my locks off yeah, I feel like I wanted to cut, cut them off because of the damage it caused. But 
so far it's, it's gone back to condition it's, it's soft but it's not it's, it's not as it was i can't lie but anyway i don't want to go on waffle on about it thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that notification bell down below the video if you've got any comments or questions that you want to ask me then feel free to pop it in the comments below and what else that's it as always stay blessed stay beautiful and stay uniquely you and i'll see you all in my next video thank you guys for watching Mwah.